dear students today we are going to start the subject database management system the topics that i want to share in this session are what is a database what is a dbms what is a database system and who are the users of the database in our daily life we are familiar with the applications which use database for example bank if you are going to a bank all your details will be stored in the bank's database all your personal informations and your account information will be stored in the database of the bank system if you are considering a hospital database all the details about their patients and the information about the doctors will be stored in the database of the hospital if you are going to an airline system then uh, the schedule of the flights as well as the availability of the tickets will be stored in the airline system initially only data text data was stored in the databases then the technology has improved and there are some extensions of the databases the first one is multimedia databases this type of databases have the capacity to store pictures video and sound messages so such databases are known as multimedia databases then there comes geographic information system which can store and analyze maps weather data and satellite images then there comes data warehouse and online analytical processing which are used by the companies to analyze information from the database for some decision making then these are the different extensions to the database now coming to what is a database we can define a database as a collection of related data for example suppose i am taking uh, the first student of this class roll number 1 i am storing his name register number and uh, the marks available for the first semester so that is a data so i am taking the uh, the same details of the second student for example roll number 2 so name of the student i am storing again register number of the student i am storing then the marks of the s1 subjects i am storing again i am taking the details same details of roll number 3 so all these are related data so all if i am storing all these related data together then we can call it as a database so i am calling it as the database of s3ct students then what do you mean by data data means non facts that can be recorded and have an implicit meaning so some fact about someone and that non facts if we can store it somewhere then we can say it as a data and it has a an implicit meaning it has a clear meaning what it means okay for example customer here customer details are stored in the database for example customer name customer number customer city all these informations together will form the data of a particular customer then what are the properties of the database i told you when i formed the database of s3 ct students i collected the information from this class okay so this class means it's a real world it's exist actually so database always represent the real world and that part of real world is known as mini world or universe of discourse and the second property of the database is it's a logically coherent collection of data with some inherent meaning so it's a permanent collection of data and it has a specific meaning if i am storing a data it must have a specific meaning inherent meaning in that particular data a random collection of data does not form a database and 
The third property of the database is it is designed, built and populated for specific purpose. So if I am storing or if I am building the database of S3 CP student, I have a special purpose. So I am keeping a record of my students in the department. So, so whenever we are creating a database, we are always creating it for a specific purpose. And there is always some group of users who are interested in this database and they will be using some application to use this particular database. For example, if you are T-Kerala. T-Kerala is database which store the complete information about the students in the polytechnic colleges. Okay, so T-Kerala is an application which use a database and all the student information in the polytechnic colleges are stored in the database. So always there are some specific users for that application. Who are the users of the application T Kerala? T Kerala in the application Arakiana use another. So engineering college students in a T Kerala and then interest in dog. Illa. Our deck iring along the Allah Dinagatala. So only the people from polytechnic colleges and teachers from polytechnic colleges are the intended users of that particular application. But T Kerala in the Parina or application under database use in the or database epa create the Gainalum Adil interested itrilla users under another Parina. So T Kerala database in the interested itrilla users in the Parina, the students of polytechnic colleges and the teachers of the polytechnic colleges are. So these are the properties of the database. That means the database always represents some part of the real world and that part is known as mini world or universe of discourse. Second property of the database is it has an inherent meaning. It is a logically coherent collection of data and it has an inherent meaning. And third property is it is designed, built and populated for specific purpose. Whenever we are designing a database, there are some specific users and some preconceived application that are interested in that particular database. Now coming to what is a database management system. Database management system, we can define it as a collection of softwares which help us to create and maintain a database. For a database in a create yanum, maintain chianum, help in the software package in DBMS in the parinadal. So we can define it as DBMS is a general purpose software system that facilitates the process of defining, constructing, and manipulating database for various applications. So why we are using that software system? It's for defining, constructing, and manipulating the database. So what these are the, if there is a software system called DBMS, these are the functions of the DBMS to define the database. So main functions of DBMS, the first one is defining a database. So I told you we are storing related data in the database. So whenever we are storing data in the database, we have to specify the type of that particular data. You know what's the type of data. In the last semester, C language, you studied different types of data. Like that, there are different data types available for DBMS also. So, whenever you are storing a data, you have to specify what is the type of that particular data. In the data type in another. For example, if you are storing your name in the database, then you have to specify that its data type is a string. If you are storing your register number, then you have to specify that your register number is of the data type integer. And you have to specify the structure of the data and the constraint. If there is any limits, limits on that particular data. For example, 
is for example if i am giving the phone number of a particular student in the database then only 10 digits are possible for mobile numbers 10 digits maatre pattullu adu adinte constraint aanu 10 digit kaiyittu 11 digits adikkaanengil this is invalid ennu parnittu oru message avada kaanikkanam adaniyana nammal constraint ennu parayunnathu uh, for ex another example, paraya anengil. If you are giving the roll number of a particular student, that must be within the limit one to sixty three. For example, in those days, we had only in the polytechnic, we had only three people admitted. So, our roll number in the paraya one to sixty three varaya is limited. So, sixty four in the paraya is our roll number. Any one people could get it. Right, in the first year, we were able. So, the second. Function of the DBMS is constructing a database. So we defined what are the type and structure and constraints on the data. Then we have to store this data in some storage medium. So the process of storing the data itself on some storage medium is known as constructing a database. If we have database and create and construct we have a storage media save constructing a database and the third one is manipulating a database so once the database is there we have to perform the user has to perform so many operations on that particular database for example uh, s3 seated or database and engil any kitchen for details Read chain devil or a student na, roll number five in the details complete read chain retrieve chain and the way. So I can retrieve data from the database or I can update information in the database. Uh, I want to change the address of a particular student. Or I would put it address first year one of the Rimbola address alla penilla. So second year I am going to go address will change one. Thing. So I want to update the database. So, so many operations I can perform on the database. So, that is known as manipulating a database. So, it's our functions for querying specific data in the database and updating the data. So, these are the main functions of DPMS. Defining a database, constructing a database and manipulating a database. Now, coming to what is a database system. So, a DBMS together with the database is known as database system. For a DBMS, the database is called database system. So, figure look on it. So, user doesn't have the permission to access the database directly. User no curriculum direct title, disk list story, database database access the permission. He will be using application programs or queries to access the database. So, whatever application program or query is written by the user, that is processed by the DBMS software. DBMS software is user editor, query, alengil application program process. Process is the application program, alengil query can search data that will be retrieved from the stored database and is returned to the user. And this is your database, stored database. And all the information about the data in the database is also stored. And that is known as metadata. Stored database definition is known as metadata. That's why we have a disk. We have a database. We have a database. We have a database. We have information. We have a data type. We have a structure. So, a database system is database together with DBMS is known as a database system. And there are several users for a database. And these users will be accessing the database for several purposes. Now we can check on who are the different database users there are two types of users mainly actors on the scene and workers behind the scene for actors on the scene in the 
database administrator aanu so if a resource is used by many persons always there is the need of one person to administer that use alle oru sadhanam allengil oru resource ennu parayunnathu കുറേ പേര് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിനെ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി ഓൾവേസ് ദർ ഇസ് എ നീഡ് ഫോർ എ ചീഫ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റർ സോ ഹിയർ ദ പ്രൈമറി റിസോഴ്സ് ഇസ് എ ഡി ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് ആൻഡ് ദ സെക്കൻഡറി റിസോഴ്സ് ഇസ് ദി ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് സിസ്റ്റം സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് ദ ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റർ ടു ഹാൻഡിൽ ഓർ ടു കൺട്രോൾ ദ ആക്സസ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ റിസോഴ്സസ് സോ the it is the responsibility of the administrator to authorize permission to users to access the database database ne access cheyanalla permission authorize cheynathu database administrator aanu ellavarkum ella type of permission undavilla some people will have the permission to read the data only some others will have the permission to read and update the information so according to the type of users your ad- database administrator will be giving the access right to different types of users and it is also the duty of the database administrator to purchase the hardware and software resources as needed and another duty of the administrator is to is there is to check if there is any security violation and if there occurs any security breach then it is a responsibility of the database administrator to handle that also if there occur any poor system performance the administrator has to handle that so these are the duty of the database administrator so he is responsible for authorizing access rights coordinating and monitoring its use acquiring hardware and software resources as needed and he is also responsible for security violation and poor system performance then there comes database designers and the main duty of the database designer is to identify what data is to be stored in the database so for that purpose he will be discussing with the users of the database there will be different types of users in the parnu അപ്പം അവർക്കാണ് അറിയാം എന്ത് ടൈപ്പ് ഡാറ്റയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടത് എന്നുള്ളത് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് ദ ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് ഡിസൈനർ ടു ഡിസ്കസ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് യൂസേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് ആൻഡ് ടു ഡിസൈഡ് വിച്ച് ഡാറ്റ ഓർ വിച്ച് ഡാറ്റ ഇസ് ടു ബി സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് അപ്പം ഡാറ്റാ ബേസിൽ എന്ത് ഡാറ്റയാണ് സ്റ്റോർ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് എന്ന് ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് ഡിസൈനർ ആണ് ഇൻ അഡീഷൻ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഹി ഹാസ് ടു സ്പെസിഫൈ the type of data and structure of the data to be stored so that is the second user database designer now coming to the end users and the end users means people whose jobs are to access database for specific purpose such as querying the database for updating the database or for generating reports inginilla vividha tarathilla aavashyathinu vendittu avare joli aavashyapeduana database ne access cheyanam so their job is to access the database avare joli ennu parayunnathu thane database ne access cheythu different types illa information retrieve cheyyanallana chalappo avare update cheyunnundayirikkum chalappo avare reports generate cheyunnundayirikkum anginilla karyangalokke cheyyunnathu end users aanu ennu parayi end users then there are many different categories of end users the first one is casual end user the first one is casual end user actually casual end users occasionally access the database and whenever they need uh, whenever they access the database they need different information each time avare valare valle polu mathre avare database ne access cheyi പക്ഷെ എപ്പോഴൊക്കെയാണോ ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അവരെപ്പോഴും ഒരേ ടൈപ്പ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ അല്ല അവർക്ക് ആവശ്യം അവർക്ക് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സിലുള്ള ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻസ് ആണ് അവർക്ക് ആവശ്യം ഓൾസോ ദേ വിൽ ബി യൂസിംഗ് കൊറി ലാംഗ്വേജ് ടു ആക്സസ് ദി ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫോർ കാഷ്വൽ എൻഡ് യൂസേഴ്സ് ആർ ഹൈ ലെവൽ മാനേജേഴ്സ് സോ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് എൻഡ് യൂസർ ഇസ് കാഷ്വൽ എൻഡ് യൂസർ ഹു ഒക്കേഷണലി ആക്സസ് ദ ഡാറ്റാ ബേസ് 
and each time they need different information. They are using query language to access the database and example for casual end users are high level managers. The second type of end users are naive or parametric end users and these naive or parametric end users form the major portions of the database users. Database users are the naive or parametric end users are. And their main job is constantly querying and updating the database using some standard queries and that standard queries are known as scanned transaction. If you access the database, you update the database, you can update the database, you can update the database, you can use the database, you can use the use the canned transaction, standard type of queries, you can use the database, 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 if you have a hotel reservation, ayalum, airline reservation clerk, you can use the room to get the room available, you can get the flight ticket available, you can check the flight ticket available, you can get the room 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 available, you can get that's why we have to request type of information in the database. Such users are known as naive or parametric users. And the next type of end users are sophisticated end users. And they include uh, engineers, scientists and business analysts. We have to engineers, scientists and scientists. They will be writing their own application programs to access the database. Database ni vendi already illa application programs onnu ayirikkilla. They will be using their own applications. Avarkka adhin illa knowledge illa ondu thanne. Knowledge level high aayittulla users aanu sophisticated end users ennu parayunnathu. So they will be using their own application programs to access the database. Adutha uh, type end users aanu stand alone users ennu parayunnathu. So Standalone users will be making their own personal databases using some ready-made ready -made software packages available. Ready-made packages available at the other way. So, database, personal database create in our standalone users. For example, if you have parents, you have we have a salary monthly. We have a tax and a calculation. We have a complete detail. We have a tax. We have a parents. We have a salary. 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 We have a Tax details standalone users salary database create ready made package usage database applicable teacher salary salary details users standalone users Three users are end users in the different categories. So, the different end users are casual end users, naive or parametric end users, sophisticated users, and standalone users. And the next type of database user is system analyst and application programmers. And uh, the system analyst actually it determines the requirement of the end users. What is the requirement of the end users? And they develop the specification for canned transaction. End users end the requirement in the learn okay. Canned transactions undakam wind the specification is the system analyst. So system analyst determine the requirements of end users and develop specification for canned transaction. Canned transactions are used in the end user. Canned transactions are used in the 
അപ്പൊ അവരുടെ റിക്വയർമെന്റ്സ് നോക്കി അതിന്റെ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ എഴുതുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് സിസ്റ്റം അനലിസ്റ്റിന്റെ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നൗ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ പ്രോഗ്രാമേഴ്സ് വൺസ് ദിസ് സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഇസ് ഗോഡ് ഹി വിൽ റൈറ്റ് ദ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ഫോർ ദി കാൻഡ് ട്രാൻസാക്ഷൻ കാൻഡ് ട്രാൻസാക്ഷന് വേണ്ടുന്ന കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ പ്രോഗ്രാം ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ പ്രോഗ്രാമർ ആണ് സോ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ പ്രോഗ്രാമർ ഇംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ദിസ് സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ആസ് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് നൗ ദ കംസ് ഡാറ്റാബേസ് യൂസേഴ്സ് ഹൂ വർക്ക്സ് ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദ സീൻ ഇവരൊക്കെ ഫ്രണ്ടിലുള്ള ആൾക്കാരാണ് ഇത്രയും നേരം പറഞ്ഞവരൊക്കെ ഇനി പുറകിൽ നിന്ന് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നവരാണ് മൂന്ന് പേരാണുള്ളത് മൂന്ന് ടൈപ്പ് യൂസേഴ്സ് ആണുള്ളത് ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഡി ബി എം എസ് സിസ്റ്റം ഡിസൈനേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇംപ്ലിമെന്റേഴ്സ് സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ഈസ് ടൂൾ ഡെവലപ്പേഴ്സ് തേർഡ് വൺ ഈസ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് മെയിൻറ്റനൻസ് പേഴ്സണൽ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഡി ബി എം എസ് സിസ്റ്റം ഡിസൈനേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇംപ്ലിമെന്റേഴ്സ് സോ ഡി ബി എം എസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സോ മെനി മൊഡ്യൂൾസ് സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് എ സിമ്പിൾ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് എ സിംഗിൾ പ്രോഗ്രാം it uh, consist of so many modules and each module will have its own functions so it is the duty of the dbms system designer to design and implement these modules and the second one is tool developers uh, whose duty is to develop tools actually these tools are for tools are softwares which helps to design the dbms dbms create cheyan vendite help cheyina softwares niyanu nammal tools ennu parayunnathu so there will be software uh, engineers who develop the tools which helps to design a database and the third one is operators and maintenance personnel so proper maintenance of the dbms is always required so there will be always some persons who look after the operations performed on the database and the maintenance of the database correct aayittu maintain cheyidillengil namukku database ne proper aayittu use cheyan pattilla so and the proper maintenance is the function of the some persons and such users are known as operators and maintenance personnel so these are the database users so if you have any doubt in this session you can message me in the whatsapp group thank you